Ladies and gentlemen, yes, we are back commentating. Get in there, lads. We're back commentating once again. Um, we're here for Red Line Wrestling League, the Monday League, and we're here for round number 17. Yes, round 17. We have five rounds left in this championship, and we're here at the best track on the game at Russia. Oh, I can't wait to check the comments after this video. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, and I am joined by Mr. Viesa himself, Viesa Roscoe. Um, he's just on his way. I'm here, actually. Oh, uh, there is a wild Roscoe. Ross, welcome back That's... to the country box. It's great to be back. I missed commentating on the Monday Night League. Um, I've heard it's been... A few things have been a bit entertaining the last couple of weeks I've been away, but... Uh, uh, obviously, real life work has taken a bit priority the last couple of weeks, but um, it's now settled down a little bit. So I'm back, hopefully, for the rest of this season, which we're really getting into the nitty gritty of it. 14 drivers around Russia, which is uh, well, some may say it may be, it, they might like this circuit, some may not. So uh, we'll wait and see, eh? Yeah, it, it's it's going to be a fantastic race. As per, we're going to have a 15th driver. Poms for the win 87 He will be coming online very shortly. I think he's already online right now. Just need someone to send him an invite. And I have no game sound. Why do I have... I have no game sound. Uh, try pausing your menu and then go back out again or something. Or Xbox button, whichever way. Oh, there we go, yep. There, there we go. I have game sound once again. So, this, it, I mean, it's only, you only missed the first, what, a minute and 10 seconds. So, it's that's nothing the first, really. Yeah. I mean, this will still go up on YouTube. Most probably. As Reptile says, the attendance is bring get around us. <laughs> yes. I, mean, well, it's, I mean, it's better than most leagues going around at the moment, especially on the Monday League. Mm -hmm. Saturdays of uh, but Monday, it's been 15 or 14 currently, but there's, there is a 15th on his way. Yep. So, I mean, uh, yes, it's on a full grid, but 15 better than, than what other leagues get going around at the moment. Yeah, that's very true. I'm um, done about standings. Um, I haven't really paid too much attention to it. Uh, well, um, is that tip would get quite as well DRC Jack left. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, Ryan, Ryan is the champion, is the so. <laughs> Big spoilers. I mean, but, uh, I mean yeah. <laughs> uh, there's also. There might be some battles in the constructors potentially. Uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked at it. But I'll hound Matt once again to get the standing updated for you, lovely people. And you can check out lately. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. You can check out your driver standings after this weekend. Um, I forgot to point out too. I just read this about half an hour ago. It's actually X before one night for one night X's birthday. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, it's, it's in his stream title. Ah, okay. Happy birthday to so, the uh, part league owner, then, shall we, of Redline Racing League? Well, Dill actually, Dill is the owner of Redline Racing League. <laughs> okay, sorry, yeah, uh, he's going to kill me after this one. Uh, there goes my Coventry C for next season. Oh my god, and what was that airborne? Oh, no, sorry, that was Dill. <laughs> I say, that was Dill, I think. <laughs> I was on the exact same point of view that you were on, and my word, he got a bit of air time there. TTD underscore aura for the block of the stream. Uh, racing point, I do believe, is winning by a country mile over Mercedes, but there is no Mercedes drivers in anymore because Zombies left and DRC Jared left. Because, mm. well, Zombie left because of work, but I'm uh, not sure about DRC Jared. As Edge goes to the top with a 35.344. Actually, DT goes to the top with a 31.7 on the soft compound tyres, so DT will be doing the soft to medium strat unless he gets pulverised. 
into turn two. Which it's not a possibility as Mitchie has invalidated, so did Amb oh, Ambrose is backwards on the pitch straight, so that oh, was nice. fantastic. Uh, we got a pass <laughs> of who's that? That is oh, my Water God. Okay. 99, and he is invalidated. We've got the same from him into Pies. I think just let the Renault go through of Benny F1, who's invalidated. Uh, we got a pink car of New Zealand Ryan, our champion. As Pom, what do we name seven has joined here? Has done some a greed of 15. Oh my god. Now <laughs> Savory the nearly got uh, hit there by Benny. I think he just spun at the, the, uh, the front straight. As Ryan goes to people in the 37th floor, so that's like his first lap time of the season. <laughs> As he always does. Um, who do we want to go on board with? Uh, there's only like really three drivers out there doing laps at the moment. Um, what's this? This is Oxygen Thief. He's about to start a lap. So Dill did the next one two cents lap time. This is coming in. No, he's staying out. So we'll watch this lap. Oh, it locks up a little bit in the bottom corner. Here comes X to four X. The birthday boy goes to P number four. Yes, you heard me correctly. P number four. The sheet. Oh, we got a Mitchie 950 coming around from the final corner. Gets up to P4 with a 33. Calvo, honestly, gentlemen, goes to P2. What a lap time. Nice place. In a lone Ferrari after what's this, the death row just left. Well, Oxygen yeah. Thief has, you know, they saying with Matt. We got a Red Bull of. Savory, he be coming in. What's Benny doing? He's coming in. And Poms is in his racing point car. So, a grid of 15, and I think we water in the Roman Grosjean car. If you, haven't, if you haven't seen or heard what happened to Roman Grosjean at the Bar and Grand Prix, Jesus Christ, that was. That, that was. Really, really, really bad. Thank God for the Halo, literally yeah. saving his life. Like, I didn't watch the race because obviously I had to, I had to get up at five hours for work. Because yeah, but I saw the uh, race highlights on the on that one YouTube channel. Jeez, how did he survive that? It's a bloody miracle. Yeah. I, I, I pretty much the same 100% as you. I, I could not believe how he's, he survived that, but he said our best wishes, I suppose, to Roman and uh, hope for a speedy recovery back out into the racetrack. Fingers crossed that is not his last F1 race, but um, I mean, you never know with those sort of things. It was a very, very scary incident anyway. So, um, of course, they go racing in a Bahrain at the other circuit the, this weekend, I think, so. Yeah, well, he's definitely he's definitely got racing this weekend, so it's going to be interesting to see who takes that that second us car now. As Reptile mm. gets P9, a very very slow lap. 36 is not he's, he's a lot quicker than that. Definitely a lot quicker than that. Um, yeah, that that is true. It's Ambrose gets out of the way. Oh, Warden messed up. Turn two. He's a mammoth toe from Ambrose, but that's not what you want to do. So Ambrose will be... Oh, he's on an outlap at the moment. Yeah. Um, no, no, too much. DT's, he's on an outlap. Um, Oxygen Thief, he's on, he's on the push lap, so we'll, we'll stay on board with Oxygen Thief. He's got 20 of cent ERS left. He's in the final sector, Ooh, that corner catches me out all the time, I'll keep losing the back end into the wall where I usually go. So I don't know how you're going, Oxygen Thief, but across the line goes up to P4. P2-2 two, two, two lap on the socks. Yeah, he's got some decent pace, if he can convert that into some very, very good race pace. Yep. He could be, he could be contender for uh, probably... Maybe top fives will be a bit of a stretch, but definitely top ten. 
every race weekend. As we around the final corner, that's a 30... No, that's a 32 8. Goes up to P5, so he improves a lot for, was it, four seconds or something like that? Yeah, at least, yeah. Um, so we got eight and a half minutes to go. Not much really to talk about. <laughs> Just trying to on their outlets at the moment. Mm -hmm. Where's Edge? Oh, he's invalidated, so he's got Benny F1 right behind. Oh, Benny just hit Edge, so... Oh, oh that's messed up DT's lap. He's, he's three tenths up too. That's going to cost him a bit of time between Benny and uh, Edge. DT, 31-3, he lost a bit of time in the final sector, but he improved. So 31-3. Oh, GT, he be the man on pole position here tonight. Potentially. Looking good at the moment. Nearly, well, uh, yeah, not quite four tenths clear, but very, very close there. Just watching this interesting battle between, I was watching the interesting battle between the Kiwis and Benny and Dill. I don't know what they know they were doing, but uh, they've now separated each other. Actually, the edges in between them, so I have no idea what those guys are doing at the moment. And the reptile. I haven't seen many reptile fans recently, or oh, he's hit the wall there, coming into the pit lane. Yeah, disappointing us, reptile fans. Ambrose goes to the top of a 30.3. Oh. A clean. Oh, there's a bit of lag happening. Oh dear. Uh, no, but that's my end or... Uh, that's just fantastic. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, as I was saying, Ambrose to the top, clears second ahead of T2. Could Ambrose get himself another pole position here tonight as Matt at the start a lap time? Cowboys with the accident right on board with the man in P3 currently. Here comes Calvo. Boy, he spins it, but he doesn't improve as I'm now getting the, uh, the graphics for the Betty incident. Tom's still the seven. He has retired from the session. Mm -hmm. Disappointing there from Poms. And Alpha Terry of Brazuka. He's actually quite himself up in P4 currently. Yeah. Right. So, four and a half minutes to go with the Renault. Oh, Dill goes up to P6 on the two level of mediums. But that's going to be an interesting what Dill does now, whether he goes back in for another set of softs or will he take the risk of the two lap of mediums? Well, it doesn't matter too much around really, here because it's Pretty simple one-stop strategy around here, so you can pretty much start on sauce or mediums, whichever way you go. And 
to see a plethora of people coming into the stream. So welcome everybody. Hopefully you're enjoying your Monday night and we're giving you some entertainment. So welcome one and all. We're on the grind to one of your followers. We've about 30 odds away, so any help will be much appreciated. So get a big fat follow and keep up the date with all our uh, leagues. Follow us on Twitter. Exclamation mark social. Take, take you to our Twitter page. Give us a follow over there. And yeah, if you want to sign up? Head over to our website. Season three might be starting. We'll, we'll be starting next year because Christmas break will be coming up. So we have two weeks left after this. I do believe. I think we're finishing on the 14th. So, so we're two two more weeks after tonight, and then we have. Christmas and New Year, then we'll be to do the final three rounds. Mm -hmm. Just currently on board with Water 99, did a bit of a weave in front of uh, New Zealand Lion. Oh, Water loses the back end. Set a lap time, but it's a P11 lap time, so we shall see what he actually does. Um, so, yes, two minutes and change remaining. Roscoe, it's been a while since we've done this, but yes, we're gonna play the prediction game. Mm -hmm. Who is your man? The pole position here tonight's DT comes into the pit lane, but I don't think you'll have enough time to set a number of lap. So that might be D that might be DT done for this qualifying session. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there he is, he just retired. Promotion. So yes, Ross, uh, who is your man for pole position here tonight? Uh moment as the uh, Ambrose is your leader at the moment I'm just keeping it on New Zealand right because he's setting uh, well purple lap times and I'm getting a lovely strip uh, slipstream from Warden in front of him uh, oh, it's gonna be tight but yeah you know, I'm gonna go Ryan for pole I only might be just over Ambrose but it would be very very tight I'll go with Ryan what about you Fryzy quickly before Ryan finishes his lap uh -oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the wacky one. I'm going to say Calvert Oswick to get pole position here tonight. Never mind. Because as I say that, uh, Ryan's just gone very wide there, so he's invalidated. Maybe if we give the toe to a certain water 99. Yeah. No. Never, never mind. mind. <laughs> um. Yes, I am going to say the man that's going to be in P3 at the moment. I'm going to say Cowboys. Let us know. Who do you think will be pole position here tonight? Ambrose is currently holding the station. DT's retired, so there's a lot of cars behind Ambrose. Uh, who's not going to make it? 15 seconds. Still might just make it. He lets a Rene go through. He's got to go now. He's got to go now. This is nearly a Lewis Hamilton style. Wait till last That's second. Been, he's oh, he's missed out. Yeah, he's missed it. The first boy has missed out. And Reptile has been up to P3 on soft. Cowboy's Mitchie. Mitchie's up in a P2. Ambrose still about nine tenths of a second away. Um, there's a oxygen, oxygen fit. And then we got a car. I'm not sure what Ryan is actually going to do. Um, so oh, that's on the 10, I think. Coming. Edge is retired. He's crashed out. Oxygen fit around the final corner. It's not going to be pole. It's going to be P6. He improves, but I think he stays in P6 or he just gets a hand on. Um, just a head, I think. Same room in Pi will be the next car. I mean, Ryan is there, but he's invalidated. So, same room in Pi. Good heat now, pole position here tonight. Red Bull's first pole position. Could it go to Savory? I know Savory had a front row start at Hungary, but I wasn't sure if it was pole or not. Pretty sure it's P2. Or 
P3 or something like that. I, I know it was a. But here he comes to save for around the final corner. Six. P6. <sighs> Brazooka, can, what can he do? There he goes to oh. the front row. P2. We got a, a wild map. The P10, I think that is it. Benny. There you go. He, he got, Benny got P6. It's all the P6s. Ambrose has pulled the position, I do believe. Yep, yes, he moved. does. Ambrose gets pole position, I think, for the third time for the season. Bazooka up in the P2. Mitchy P3. It's a McLaren 1 3. Then we've got D Team P4. Reptile 5th. Benny's in six, but with a grid penalty. Calvo's in seventh. Mint's pie in eighth. Oxygen Fifth is in ninth. Paul is in P10. That's on ten. We got Is That Matt? Edge. Water 99. New Zealand Ryan. And Poms for the way has is at the back with no lap time. With New Zealand Ryan, the drunk driver award here tonight. A whopping four, uh, 5.4 seconds behind uh, SBR Ambrose number four. Yep. That was an interesting qualifying session. Yeah, very interesting. But later on in the end, it always produces some entertaining final few minutes anyway. So I can't wait for the race. Yeah, the, the, the first 16 minutes are absolute stupid. But the last two minutes, that's when all the times come in. <laughs> it usually is for um, any qualifying session, really. <laughs> so it's clear, but it's not overcast. So it looks like weather won't be playing a factor here tonight, but no. But it is Monday. Always Anything's bed on possible. A car. Bed on a safety car. Mm. Oh yeah, easy, easy safety car around here. We we haven't had one on a Monday for quite a while. I think we had one last week actually, but that doesn't really count because I was driving. Oh yes. Back and, cra and crashing into a wall spectacularly. It was a uh, yes, I saw your saw small minor damage that caused you to DNF out of the quali <laughs> what was it the qualifying or the race? I can't remember. It was the race. I was on lap eight at Singapore. Uh, I clipped the wall after the Singapore sling, and oh, no, no, it was after the Singapore sling, and yeah, I just died. That was so, it, yeah. Not, not physics. Um, nice. Science. So that's the top ten. Benny is in. I actually, uh, Benny had a grid place, but say so start him soft. Matt's on medium, Edge on medium, Tom's on medium, Water and Ryan on the hard, so that's a bit interesting. So, once the drivers go around the track of the formation map, who is race winner and surprise podium here tonight? This is certainly an interesting formation lap already. Four people have already been uh, disqualified, so. Um... It's very entertaining. What has happened to the formation lap ever since I've been my last commentator? A lot's happened, obviously. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. Probably a lot of people probably say it should be like the, any of the quick guys, like Warden or Ryan at the back, might be handy with that pace that they've got. But I'm gonna go at SBR Ambrose, the man holding position one. Supr the surprise podium. You know what, let's go with the birthday boy, X Dill, in position 9. Might be a nice little birthday present for the own, sole owner that I would now call him, not the part owner that I called him earlier of Retina Head Racing League. So it's Ambrose for the winner and Dill for the surprise party. What about yourself, Rising? Uh, they glitched it out, so let's go with Ambrose for the win and a Dill podium. I am going for a. You know what? I'm always going to be the wacky guy. I'm going to say Poms for the. I love the first challenge and win. Mm -hmm. And podium. This is a surprise. You know what? I'm going to say the man of P10 is that Mando 39. Okay. He will do a 10th to 3rd finish, while Poms will do the first. To uh, last the first challenge. Sounds fair. As we wait for the final Renault of Benny coming around the final corner right now. And we're going to get ready 
27 fantastic laps around this Rafka circuit. And here comes Benny into his grid slot. A lot of guys on very cold tyres to start with, so this should be interesting. We have a three, four, five lights. And it's lights out in the pocket. Here you go. Rizuka gets off to a pretty decent start. He's up in the P1 for the average. He's in the P4 DT. Coming back. He comes. Oh my god. They got three wide. Ambrose gets the man. DT gets these on the Rizuka. DT's up in the P2 for seven. Rizuka. Oh no, no, there's oh, chaos. Rizuka's yes, out. controversy perhaps I didn't see the whole, the whole thing I'm trying I was trying to find the right camera angle for everybody but I unfortunately missed the missed the entire crash but I left another lap one safety car well he said back on a safety car on the Monday night, Monday night thing yep. and here it is <laughs> we got a cannot wait to this. have cannot wait to have uh, cannot wait Cannot wait to have another, uh, not to have another safety car tonight. It's DT's coming in. Yeah, so he's going to go, I assume, on to the hard comp out of tyres to get to the end. Same match with Broken Reptile. I'm the big cowboy here. Edge I would assume maybe some front wing damage for, some, for a few people. Yeah, cowboy front wing. He's, he's in uh, Mitchy front wing. I think Poms one of yet. Poms is good front wing. Yep, I think Rats are most head up front changed. wing. So this safety car has helped out a few people. DT is going to come out into P7 on the hard. He's done one stop now. So tactics. <laughs> Just to, yeah, just ignore the timing glitch for the moment. It, uh, it says oxygen thief as it just absolutely screws up again. Like it usually do. I thought they fixed this. They still haven't fixed it. That's just fantastic. Dick P7 P7. That's your race leader. <sighs> Rectify itself near the end of sector two, so we might have to wait it a did, little bit. Uh, it, yeah, it did. It, he wanted to perhaps say to hit say it fixed up the, the this glitch. Oxygen Thief is actually in P2, so it's close enough, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think it's itself. actually yeah, I think it's actually fixed itself up now. No! Actually no it hasn't. It's got the top bait with one oh no, never mind. I'm I'm, in, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> DT downwards, so we got DT on hearts, reptiles on medium, G on hearts, cowboy on hearts, and palms hit the edge of the soft compound of tyres. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, that's the, what, the call they've made, so I mean, they're going to have to go do, with do it we now, think, unless they Do going... we think palms and edge will come back in and in this lap, put on Probably what mediums could be able to get to the end from that four. Yeah, uh, might. Speaking of, he's coming in again, so. Yep, yep. Might see some mediums from a certain palms. So, I, I did mention tactics, so. Palms yep, has now done his one, his one pit stop. And he's, he's done on. both his mandatory Colt tyre compounds, so he can do this. If it's on medium, this would be 
fresh mediums. Wait, did Pom? No, wait, Pom started on, on stops. I'm pretty sure. No, he started no, on mediums. He was on mediums, yeah. Yeah, yeah med mediums, softs, and then now mediums. So, alright. So, we expecting the um, setting card to come in this, into this lap. You would think so, yes. A lag is happening, so that might be actually me. I don't know why. Might be you. I don't know why the lag is last a couple of times. Might have, might have been here. You sort of keep coming out a little bit for me in the party chat as well, so that may be the reason why I'm maybe cutting out for you, possibly. Mm. Mm, this, uh, mm. It's just, this is going to be interesting you know, because everybody's lagging. Would not be surprised to see me left, left the session soon. But second car will be coming in this lap. We're going to ride on board with uh, Oxygen V23. Again, I'll try and invite you straight back in. I'll try and take over the commentary until you come back, at least. Yeah, man. But for we're still in. Just waiting for the set to go into the pit lane. So it's Ambrose from Oxygen Feed from Benny F1 and Savory. It's always up to P4. What is the P5? And that harsh driver of Oxygen Feed is right behind Ambrose. And Andrew! Here we go. Oh, I'm pretty sure job left. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm not seeing any problem. No, no, that one. Yet. What's all about? Matt just spewed into the wall. Oh my god, the lag is really, really bad on my end. He's actually still going, so. Yep. Okay, as Benny goes up into P2, Bill's down in P9, Matt in P6, Brian's up into P7, Ed's up into P12, Pom is in 13, and Carbo is in 14. Well, I mean P2, yep. Oh, Pokemon V was in the chat. He's down in the P3 at the moment, Benny up into P2, so can we see Benny get another podium? I think we got a podium in Australia. He's one of those podium. His edge gets a three second time penalty. The first one actually scratch that bomb gets a three second time penalty as well. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's all settled down now. Tad. He's down in the side of Deal for eight. DT getting a move. Timings to come back on my end. Not sure if the time at the back or the other thing. Sector three, Cowboys just had a spin. Yeah, front wings uh, and, and damaged. Yeah, front wing is gone. Still three second time penalty. Still in the P9, but he's got broken reptile. Mitchy must have lost the back end or something because he was fighting for the ball. <coughs> but Tom's in the P12. He needs to get a move on on those fresh meetings. And definitely needs to get a move on on those soft compound ties. And we are expecting Cowboys to not be into this race unless another safety car. But where the hell? Skirmish tie looking very racy. I get option P23 off. The lag is really, really bad. <laughs> on this one, so uh, it's not been on stream maybe too much, otherwise we'll have to post this up on the YouTube channel tomorrow, hopefully. Yes, we now working on a Tuesday. I cannot post it, so Francisco will be posting it up on the YouTube channel. What I'm looking for, we're going to say with Pi, and gets the move done. He's up at the P4 already. 
and now his teammates in P3. Oxygen feet led him through. His palms has made the move on the edge. And he's on the far edge of the room. The switch back to three. Oh, they're going to go three wide. Oh, this is not going to win. Well, and there's someone going very wide. That's right, the reptile. Now the inside. Oh, they got that wall is not out anymore. Mitch looking for a move on the palms for the A70. This is a great battle at the moment. Still pulled out a, a 1.3 second gap on the broken roof tile. And now he can his on the head. And we've still got Ryan three drivers. Up into P5. I'm just expecting me to lay and me leave, leave the session pretty, pretty soon. It's oh, Paul's no, Pobs! Pobs just spun it. I think he just got onto the curb a little bit too, a uh, little bit too flat and got some throttle. And that's not the important. Luckily, he's on medium, otherwise that would be a piss off on the new tyres. Benny F1 is under a second of Ambrose. Some of the RS's, Benny's used up a little bit more than Ambrose. But he's got the RS. Both using overtake, but... Yeah, this will pull back the gap a little bit. These guys pulling three, nearly three and a half seconds clear of Oxygen Thief. It's so, it under a second, or he was under a second, and now Matt's going to pull a move on to Savory. Actually, he's not, he's over half a second behind, but... For P6, gets Matt out of his P7 comfort zone and still picks up the pace against the It's been just fast lap off, uh, yeah, fast lap off the race so far. And Red Bulls at the train at the moment against Edge and Mitch Jin. Looks like the soft compound tires are not working with. Sorry, water just got by Oxygen V for only outside of the turn two. Yep. So I think maybe some team orders potentially. And Ryan's looking for a move on Oxygen V for now. Waiting for the DRS, I think. Yeah. I think he still gets a three second time coming there. That might be his second one of the of the session so far. Matt and Savory getting an ever so closer. Benny and Ember still under a second. We're on lap 7 of 27. We've got 21 racing laps to go here, ladies and gentlemen. And Brian has the RS. So this will help him out for another lap. Brian not using any overtake. Smart play from the our two times defending Monday champion. And Matt, under. He was on the 6 tenth of a second behind Savory, but Savory still gets good traction on those softs. Would expect to see some pit stops maybe around, what do you think, a 10? A 10 11? 10 11, yeah, probably. If you want to do softs and mediums around here, if you did the softs to hards, obviously you'd have to pit a, a little bit earlier, which obviously DT did under the safety car. He's still in P8. He, Trying to close that gap to Matt in front of him as Benny gets a three second time penalty. He's dropped out of that one second bracket with the DRS. Yeah, I think he's just maybe just pulling out his tyres. Maybe go for another push lap. At least say some error as well as Matt gets a time penalty. Ryan still stuck behind Oxygen Thief, but he's very, very close behind him now, so. Is un he's over a second, he's actually under a second right now, so he can get the RS. We can survive this, these two corners. And I think he'll get the RS, but only just. Does he have yes, he does. So Oxygen Thief has much. played this, he's played this tactically, using water to drag him along to keep ahead of Ryan. This is frustrating New Zealand Ryan at the moment. He's probably thinking, finally, I have some competition. <laughs> yeah, may, uh, maybe, yes. But, uh, <laughs> just, just playing it nice and patiently. 
Ryan would know this very well. He just doesn't need to do anything silly. His DT gets a three second time penalty as well. I just, I just saw the edge over the overtake on a broken ramp, so I was down the outside of that, of the end of the back straight. And he's up to P9, ramp is to P10, up ahead, right there behind, and Mitchie's so far behind as well. Edge gets a time penalty. Oh, bit of. Uh, bit of lag again, but it's gone up to the gearbox of Reptile, I'm not sure that happened for the Oh, it's contact between Ryan and Oxygen Thief. Ryan back down to that one, probably the good call there. Oh, I think Oxygen Thief is trying to let Ryan through, but he's breaking very, very... Uh, he's trying to let it through. Go now, you got to go said, now, I've Ryan. I've had enough, I've had enough, I need to get past you. Oh, Thief. Hanging around the outside the wall with a contact, but still got front row right up at the P4. Oh, got Ryan, him now. he's got him. Yeah, Zufif held up for as long as he could, but he'll get the RS and Ryan won't. I think the salsa might might be starting to die out a little bit here now. It's Ambrose had his two and a half Sorry. second gap already. Matt, Savory, and uh, also people have never been locked into a battle. Yeah, I was going to say, those guys caught up quite a bit after that little squirmish there with Ryan and Oxygen Thief. Oh, Ryan thief. locks up! Three, four. That's, you don't want to go down the inside there. Hopefully he hasn't got any front wing damage or too bad of damage. And now Slavery and Matt are right there in this battle. We've got a four-way scrap on the P4. Danbro is on the left hand. And he's pretty much checked out, but Thief has a penalty now. That might be a number warning, and the pit is now open. One stop strategy for the medium. Left 10 to 14, so expect to see some cars coming in. Warden will take the race lead. Oxen still has the uh, DRS. So we got two battle packs happening between from Ryan to Man and from Hill down to Gucci. So take a look I have Roscoe here tonight because. I will not be able to keep up and oh, Matt ran happening. the outside of Savory Mid's pie. He's got it done. And Matt, Matt's up to P6. Ran so the outside of turn five. It? That's not, that's not never easy to do, but he's managed to do it. And they can set his sights on oxygen thief in front of him. And if we not have the RS, he's just, he's, I've just over a tenth and a half at the limit as Ed gets another time penalty and it's not it's gonna be a water nine and the other right one two once Ambrose and Benny do come in which might be cut at the end of this lap as Warden's under two seconds of Benny I think Benny's just been saving the RS no what does Ambrose do? He's staying out he's staying in front of the lap what does Benny do? Benny is coming in he's had enough of the softs and He'll be coming into for the mediums. Warden will take P2, Ryan will take P3. Oxid Thief is now into the pit lane. I was going to say, I thought something might have yeah, happened. Kind of panic, but, panicked a little bit but, there, but it's, uh, it's all good. So DT Dill comes out. But they might come out ahead of him. Oh, get them both potentially. Yes, he does. So Benny's at the top, Thief is in 13th, Cowboys is in lonely 14th. He needs a safety card to have his reptiles ahead of Edge. I think he stayed ahead of Edge, potentially. He's now 2.1 seconds behind and Edge is not coming in for another pit stop just yet. And Mitchie flying on those hard compound pilots after that last one is with him and Zuka. Meanwhile, this battle, uh, we've missed it. Salvo Savory's back ahead of Matt for fourth and fifth. I uh, dare say it might be not for too much longer. Savory was still on the softs. I'm on board with our race leader at the moment. Let's Matt. see what this man will do. I think Matt's got, uh, got ahead of Savory. Sorry I yes, missed that, Matt, but I'm just check to see what Amber Rose does. And he's staying at a camp. And 
you might be expecting a wild bit fire coming into the lane. No, it's that down. That's very, very interesting. Mitchy getting ever so close to RBH on edge. Pong and the officers, they're still a bit behind this lot. And staying out, Mitchy. Staying out as well. He's trying to get on those hards. That is one pit stop. Uh, well, let's, let's have a look at penalties. Penalties. So, Matt's got three seconds. Savory's got three seconds. DT's got six seconds. Dill's got nine. Edge's got nine. Pom six. Betty six. And Oxygen Thief has three seconds. I think someone else had another penalty. Yes, Pom's got another one. As I speak, Oxygen Thief just added another one to his list. So both Poms and Oxidative are up to six seconds. Oh, that's not going to help you getting any points here tonight, lads. You to keep it clean. Uh, I mean, Russia is track limits. It's very, very consistent anyway. Mm. But there's not much else you can do. Uh, positional chance. No surprise to see Water and Ryan with 11 inch. Next best is Matt with six, then we've got Poms with four, four, Edge with three, Dill with two, same with Savory. The biggest loser is Bazooka, but he's DNF. Next worst, oh, Mitchy looking for a move on Edge, Edge, and that backfired on him. Probably should have just waited for the DRS. Ambrose is finally here. He's one and another pit stop in his down on the mediums, and Savory's in as well. Bobby just wanted to come in when Ambrose Edge is coming in, so Mitchy is now got clear air. And chase down uh, Broken Rats are three, three and a half seconds is the gap. And Dill and then Rats are catching up the DTs back up to P4, but remember he's going to the end, so that's actually, what do you get to? It's 11 and a half seconds between himself and Warden. Pit lane is what, 20 seconds? Round here, I do believe. Uh, more than 20, I thought, but I mean, I could be completely wrong. Five. But keep an eye on that Reckon. Benny. Three second time penalty. He has closed that margin to, to Ambrose because Ambrose on the much fresher medium cop out of tyres. So, when Water and Ryan do decide to come in, they'll come out behind. Benny, who's 20 and a half seconds right now, obviously feed is 10 seconds behind Benny F1. So this is this this race is now gonna be an interesting one now because most of these drivers are gonna be banking on a safety car to help them catch that car. If the safety car comes up, this helps them that Warden Ryan, maybe TT if he wants to come in for another set of tires. Another set of mediums. Uh, Sat Mitch as well. And Catball as well. This will help him out. He'll catch him back up. Oh, Tom gets another. Oh, not Warner gets another. I uh, gets a penalty. So Edge has 12 seconds. He must have got a fast second. Penalty for speeding or something. Uh, uh, DT's got nine, Dill's got nine, Benny's got nine, Savory's got three, Warden's got three, so. So the only drivers without Penley are Ryan, Reptile, Mitchy, and Ambrose. Also, Calpa has the penalties as well, but he's 13 and a half seconds behind Edge. And driving alone on this track is really, really torture. Yeah, it's pretty boring, I've got to say, <laughs> around here. I've done that before, so uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty boring. So just Carlo just have a nice little stroll around Russia at this point. Oh, Pong's get squirming. Penske down the inside. Pong's. He, he's got it. He's got the traction. Yes, he does. Here comes Benny F1. Oh, and Pong's in two positions. He's got DRS. Look out. Yeah, Mitchie might be the one under pressure here. Oh, boy. Clarence nearly collided with each other. Penske around the inside, down the inside. Oh, this, it gets... 
Eddie. Oh. Right, right here. Oh, oh, Smith close. bum. He's coming back in the Benny. That might have been a racing incident, potentially. I'm sure. But wow, what great racing. Unfortunately, Pom is the biggest loser there. And the Oxys has been missing with the shout for a world championship point at the moment. But Ambrose up to P7. But he needs to, he needs to get past Minchin on 50 to stay within touching distance of Ambrose. But will Minchin play the team game? Will he pull up Benny team? Right, Benny goes for it. Is, no! But Mitchell with the switch oh. to the streets. Oh, that was very, very close. Throwing just a three second time penalty. This, this this race has come alive in the last few corners. Broken yeah. Reptiles posing an ordeal, but nothing much happening. He'll get the RS. And Benny is now two, um, just under two seconds behind Ambrose in his thing to all that work once again. And I do believe my incident has finally calmed down a bit and no had a lag is so fingers crossed that it does not happen again. But it's some guy will do lag here a little bit, but I think tonight will probably be my my end. Yeah. Beef would he will he still, he's gonna steal P10 is he with well, no one's down the inside of Tom. And Thief is up in the P10. What a move from Oxygen Thief 23 as the lag is coming back. Oh, he loses the back end and holds it, holds it correctly. Well, Pom's come in. No, he's staying out. Why would he want to come in? Oxygen Thief with the freshest set of tyres. He's up in the P10. He's got 10 seconds to catch up the Minchi. Wow, what a move from the from the half reserve driver, but here comes Pongs! Yeah, five He's back. Set around the outside of turn two. DRS breaks away and gets, gets back up the P10. So now it's. It's about. It's, oh, he thought about Pongs up. Yeah. Pongs locks up a little bit as Benny gets another time penalty. Um, this battle has been enthralling. It's even that's a. P10, but wow! <laughs> Every point does keep, count. We keep in mind all the battles, but this one is, is caught the has caught my eye at the moment. So I'll get it, getting ever so closer to deal. He run out of straight, sat, then we uh, deal onto uh, DT. Oh. Tell you what, DT. Once we drive by, they said neither is it coming in. Matt's in as well. Okay, DT coming in. Yep, okay. Stick to three. Oxygen Thief is gone wide, and Sabre is now ahead of him. That's really, really unfortunate. Oh, Benny's around. Oh, was he trying to come in? I don't know. What, did he clip something? Uh, a bit hard to tell, I could have only the back end of it and his car was near the pit lane, so I'm not sure about that one. DT's coming down the set of medium, so he must not have a fresh set of softs left. Maybe, yeah. So now, Mitchie's ahead of Ryan, but I expect Mitchie to just get out of the way. What a given bit we for Mitchie to not pass him, but... Don't blame him, but the birthday boy, ladies and gentlemen, he's up in the P1, and he's going to the end. But we do have a three-way scrap on he? at the moment. You're like sector one. It's Pom. Pom's with 70 He's had another spin. DT's back up into, into the point as Oxygen Thief is back into the lane. As Cowboy Hoss, ladies and gentlemen, he's moved up the place in P13. 11 laps to go. Still enough time for a second car, but we have a battle for the top three. A correction as well, Dill has, correction, Dill has not pitted as yet, so he's still yet to come and I think he's going to come in now. Okay, has Reptile, I think Reptile has pitted, so he's going yes, to Reptile the end. Yes, Reptile has pitted. 
Oh, that is such a shame. Well, at least Dill got to lead a lap on his birthday. Yeah, Can we something. get some happy birthday, Dill, in, in the comment section or in, in chat when this video does go live? When Roscoe says up, let's put it up, hopefully, tomorrow. Yeah, it's the first tomorrow. of which is the 1st of December, but Dill will be coming out into P10. So oh, Palms is out. out. Oh, he's in the, he's retired in the pit lane, that's okay. Uh, no safety cast, Palms has left the session. Oh, that's pretty unfortunate. But ladies and gentlemen, no. come on. He's up in the P12. <laughs> Getting all our hopes up here, Palms, of no nice safety car, but no, nah, not the case. You did the right thing. Right, so we got what? Uh, uh, nine laps to go? I think that's correct. Yep, nine laps to go. Ryan and Warren both have penalties each. Ambrose set the P1. Reptiles P2. And three and four are held on, their, on his tail. I think Reptile might just let these two go. If it was Reptile, let these two go and drag him up. Yeah, no, the end. yeah, that's a bit close oh. for comfort there. Oh, what's that? He's in my POV. And then Reptiles just let him go. I think, I think that might be the smart play from Reptile. Use Ryan and Borden to drag him up. Ryan sets the fast lap off the race, but he does have a penalty. Could we see a Reptile Vinci on the podium, which is 6.7 seconds behind? Gentlemen, it will be interesting. Going to be a very interesting last few laps, and Matt is closing on the soft compound of tyres, remember? Very fresh softs. And Matt is actually flying. Same with Dill as well. We've got uh, eight laps to go. Eight laps to go. Still enough time for a safety car. Oh, water, that was a big moment through there. Warning goes that wide. Might be getting some track limits. I would not be surprised if that's the case. Uh, literally pushing each other to the limit here and catching up to Ambrose. Savory's right behind Benny and Plum. Benny, he's, he's, lost, he's lost the podium, but he won't lose P7 very shortly if he's not careful. <laughs> Ryan ran out of the no restaurant, but the, the top three are now going to have a battle, hopefully. Ryan set us flat once again. And the top three are under a second. savory has got Benny at one. Benny yep. went at one. And Dill is right there behind DT as well, so I'm not sure. I think going to the medium is probably cost DT. I think you should have just taken it out, if I'm honest. It's Warden's overtaking Ambrose. Oh, Ambrose down the inside. What's this when he's in the right PMB? Both for lock up. Ryan down the inside. Oh, what a beautiful move. Onto Ambrose. A little bit of a lock up. And now it's a Warden 99 New Zealand Rock 1 2. How many times has that been said over the, over the years? Plenty, I can guarantee you that since F1 started league racing in F1 2017. But also Matt got by Mitchy as well for P5 and he's just blazed by, uh, uh, literally gone up the road. The, the softs are looking one that Benny gets another time and he took out the points. He potentially is having his goal in, but... He's getting very frustrated. He's now Benny. Get the RS trying here. to keep it. Yeah, trying to keep an eye on the battles happening. So Benny's on the move on to Savory, and he's got it. But does still get a move on to Dick T for P9. Oh, oh, he's got to go for it. DT, the birthday boy said he's going to insult my. And he goes out wide and he's let DT through. I think there might have been a little bit of contact. Yeah. Ambrose is now 1.3 seconds behind him. Oh. Warden. <laughs> Ryan. Gave him the little squeeze there, Ed Warden. 
But he got the move done in Ryan. Round the outside, he's up to the P1. Ambert, he's got one and a half seconds to play with. But he doesn't want to get the gap at the three seconds if he can help it. Seven laps to go. And Sabre and Benny are still trading places for seventh and eighth. Dill's got DT. These two are going to catch up to Sabre and Benny very, very shortly. Dill, Dill's got share now. 2.2 is the gap. Start to pull away, hopefully, from DT. And catch these guys in front of them. The fresh salt. Probably for a set of soft tyres. Dill and tries like four fast lappers. Warden and Ryan looking for a speed position to home. Warden Hold Station. Benny and Savory are again. And Oh, Warden's got another time penalty. Steve has another time penalty, so that's going to be interesting to see. He might keep P3. If he does not get another penalty, it's what, eight and a half seconds between Ambrose and Reptile. Benny's got Savory once again. These two kids swapping each other, and he comes still D2 here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, Dill! Oh, Dill's had a spin! Oh, Good save. Good save. Like the oxygen these <laughs> out. Safety <laughs> car. Safety car. This well, well, well. Has helped our car by Oz a lot. Now he he needs to stay out. He cannot come into pit lane. Galbo, if you're watching this, please stay out. Please stay out, car by Oz, and keep your lap. Edge is in the lane. He's the only one taking the end of this so far. Probably the nearest to the pit lane as well, so he'll go into softs. Oh, that's that's really really unfortunate for Just I was just on board with Cowboys and I saw how Oxford retired. That's very very unlucky. Uh, come on, Cowboy, you need to stay out. What what the Ambers do now? I think Reptile has definitely has to come in. Reptile definitely Mitch has to well, come in. Mitchie will definitely have to come in. Same with Benny. I think Sabre and DT might come in as well. You may as well take a gamble while they've got it. Come on, on Cabo, stay out. Yes, he's still oh. Ryan will put it. Yeah, I think everybody's going to come in. Cabo yep. will definitely keep his lap now. Quite easily. Yep, everybody yep. were coming in. So this this brings Calibre into play now. Yep. He still hasn't got any penalties, so and if, and everybody ahead of him has penalties. The top ten's oh, a possibility. Yeah, I thought Ben was staying out, but no, he's staying out. Bill is staying out. A bad play. He's up to P4, but he does have a penalty. Relatively fresh his tyres. I say relatively. But everybody behind him's got very fresh softs now, so. Alright, so. What was that? Five. No. We got four laps to go. Yeah, about four laps to go, yeah. so this, hopefully Edge and Calbo can catch up some game of 12 way fight here. So the people in prime position are Ambrose, Reptile, and Mitchie. They're the only three, oh, and Calbo as well, but Ambrose and uh, Mitchie are the only ones in the top 10 that does not have a penalty. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got five laps to go. Sorry, I, I can't count. <laughs> uh, good old four man, in the next lap anyway. Yeah. All right, so Calbo, yes. He'll catch, definitely be able to catch back up. 
They, on the back straight, a car was coming into turn two and three right now. It, if the safety car stays up for one more lap, he'll get the catch up. Yeah, it's staying out. Should do. Wow. Uh, all right, so let's actually check. Hey, uh, so what do you deal? Ryan has three. Gordon has six. Dill has fifteen seconds. Oh, come on! There's a penalty. Oh no. Oh no. That's, that's still okay because the other guys in front of him have got more penalties than him. So that's still a possibility. Matt has six. Safer has three. DT has nine. Benny has 21. Edge has 18. And Cowboys just picked up a three second time penalty. And we, everyone's just waiting on the Cowboys at the moment. Um, one, if Kelba has a fresh and soft, is he coming back into the lane? Again. No, I don't know. And, and, have, and have the and have the fresh set of softs. I wouldn't risk it. I'd, I'd stay out. Just catch back up to the train. Yeah, he, he, he spent that anyway. But it is, it is a tactic that people do play. Yeah. Like I, I, I play it. If I have to yeah, set yeah. of at the end. Okay. He's been playing a lot of position, first set of tires. Yeah. So, four laps to go. Who's your new one? Roscoe? <laughs> Tud, I, or anybody that has no penalties, I would say at this rate, that, I, that's probably my, my only guess. I'm not even going to guess who's going to win at this rate. Well, at the moment, in prime position, it's Ambrose, Reptile, and Mitchie. Can we see an Ambrose, Reptile, Mitchie podium? It's a, yeah, it's potential. Although I'm just looking through the race director properly. So Mitchie's on two warnings. Reptile's also on two warnings. Ambrose has got one warning and two invalidated lap times. So it's looking likely Ambrose is in the prime spot, although Reptile and Mitchie just going to keep it nice and clean in his last three laps. Avoid getting well, a penalty, and, and they've probably got a, a good... Uh, has caught. Yeah, Cowboy Ollis has caught back up. And Good we timing. have our 12-way scrap. So this, this, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Positions are up for grabs. The race wins are for grabs. Then we've got right on board with what is going on. I'm not sure what Roscoe's going to do. Maybe he'll go on Ryan's POV. Potentially just look back. This is going to be... Can be a big finish with three laps to go. No more safety cars after this. Not sure what our big Benny's had the spin. Benny's had a spin, Benny yeah. Spun it. Oh, I hope he hasn't got any front wing damage, otherwise, that is actual torture. We're going. And away oh. we go. Savory, five second time for going. Bit listen with Edge, and I think Edge will be getting a few words after the race. Come on, 17, 12, Edge is up in the P. 12 now, Cowboy Oz looking for a little bit of Benny at F1. From the outside, all over the flag. Oh, I hate when it does that. Still stuck in the P4, Cowboy Oz and Benny's still swabbling around. P10, but Benny uh, holds on. DT's 1.3 behind Sabre, but he has a 5 second stop go. Yep, Edge is out. Edge is out, no safety car. Come back up now. Yeah, we want to finish. Number one, have one lap with DRS. Yes, we should. Benny gets another time penalty. So, some controversy has happened in this race. A lot of it. Matt's looking for a move on the broken reptile. He needs to stay within touch of Brian Warden and Dill. Mitchie, can he get the result into a little bit of a car and McLaren will get a big four point in the constructors. I think they're in a battle with 
with, I think they're in the battle with Radha, I do believe. And we can but Matt's on his own, so that's not going to be one that's forever. As Warner gets a plus of the race so far, two laps to go, that's 26 to 27. Strap this belt in here, ladies and gentlemen. I think Eric Harris will be coming uh, active at the end of this race and gets us under session. There's, there's going to be some work in the chat, I can, I can sense it. Yep. Brian and Gordon. Big, big train that has reptile go. It's down to the 5th to the 9th. It's a fun car. Yeah, Dill's actually doing a decent job, actually, even on the very... Cowboys. Like warm sauce. I was going to say, Warner went some some penalty, but that might be some lag as Sabre's got overtaken. Benny's D2. disqualified. P8. Oh, dear, dear Benny. Catfire, I don't know, he's in the points. I think Benny just left the session. The gap is two seconds between Ryan and Warner. Oh, this is going to be close. 2.6 between Ryan and Ambrose. Ryan can get it up to three seconds, and it's Ryan's to lose here. Last lap. Last lap, the RX today. 2.93 seconds is the gap between Ryan and, and Ambrose. That, uh, he needs to keep up the pace as Ambrose. The RX is Ryan's up a little bit. We're going to see some additional changes come the end of the race. Matt and Reptile looking for a move. No. No. And. No. No. But any bits like Cowboy Oz is in P10 here, those gentlemen. What a recovery of drive. <laughs> Benny, he's left the session. It's really, really unfortunate. He was battling Ambrose for the race lead. And all hell broke loose. So. so I think the top three will be set in stone as it is right now, but what would they be in? And Warden does have the outrace, but we've got no overtake buttons. Neither does Ryan. Neither, nobody's got any overtake in the top three. Warden locks up. Ryan and Warden coming from at the back of the grid. And Ryan will pick another race win. It's as dominant as usual, but a late safety car bought the Bill Post. We thought we might get to see some daring overtakes, and Ryan wins the Russian Grand Prix. Ryan comes in P2. Penske finishes in P2. Where does Bill come? P4 for a summer. So, Raptor on board. She's getting P5, Matt's in 6. And I think Warden might have finished down a little bit lower. But New Zealand Brian wins the Russian Grand Prix. And Code Masters are giving it to Ryan, which is per cause he started from back. <laughs> mm. That was that was an interesting race, I must say. Yeah. There's always like safety car drama plays out and just fixes things up a little bit. And yes, Warner did get onto the podium. Um, you can tell by his Michael Schumacher, um, what do you call it? Pro, uh, profile, whatever it is, on the podium. Yeah, so... And here is the final race results. Ryan makes a pretty much a good race win. It wasn't dominant as, as his usual standards. But Ambrose comes in the P2, Water P3, Reptile P4, Michi P5, Matt gets P6, Cabo Oz, ladies and gentlemen, gets P7 after all of that. Yeah. Savory Mints Poi gets P8, Dill P9, and DT gets P10, one championship point. And the gap between Cabo Oz and Savory Mints Poi was nothing. That five second penalty has cost Savory Mints Poi. But might expect to see that. Out of the 10, we've got Edge, Oxygen 3, Palm to win A70, uh, Brazuka, and Benny, who got disqualified.
did, did the, the one stop. It, it kind of worked, but at the same time, you just got too many penalties. Yep. Oh, wow. Well, that was fairly entertaining. Uh, Roscoe, who was your driver today? Uh, you can't go past Ryan uh, for, that, for that one. I think Cody's have probably got that one right. And probably uh, uh, Carly commended as well to, to Warden as well. Those two definitely gave us one heck of a battle to the end. In the end, Ryan came out on top. So I think, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it Ryan. What about you, Fryzy? Um, Yeah, no surprise, Comas is giving it to New Zealand Ryan. It's hard to beat. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, who, who was a standout driver apart from Ryan and Warden? Uh, I'm just trying to think now. We might have to look back at it. Yeah, a maybe, bit later maybe, on. maybe Reptile might, might have been shout. Uh, Calvert Oz definitely after he gets P7 after being on his own for much of the race, but. Late seed to go help him out. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to Ryan as well. But yeah, uh, next week we're at Japan, and that's <laughs> that's going to be an interesting race here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes. I'm actually going to be looking forward to that, especially in the first sector. But turn oh, yes. one, that that that's, that's going to be something. <laughs> Yeah, especially um, and as well at the out of the final corner, they got rid the fa they got rid of the famous bump over the last few games, so that's going to be uh, something to look forward uh, forward to as well. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Ryan's very strong on that track as well. So yeah, potentially as well. But we shall see. So the next time I will be live this Saturday for the Russian Grand Prix once again. Um, she will be is back commentating for the rest of the season. So hopefully everybody comes in and tunes in and listen to his golf updates. <laughs> yes, and hopefully they are I famous. And hopefully I don't crash into the pit lane again. <laughs> but it, it's probably going to happen. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, uh, maybe we might use this footage. I don't know. We'll, me and Roscoe and I will we'll talk about it afterwards. And. Yeah. Yeah, until next time, it is goodbye, and we'll see you at Japan. See ya! Bye.